Hi, welcome to today's video. So I'm going to take you through today how to uh, get one of our wireless NMEA products talking to your iPad. Uh, basically you click the settings button, scan for wireless hotspots and there we go, there it is Nomad there, so we'll select that. Now after a few seconds um, you should get a uh, little tick next to the um, wireless network um, and if you saw before that it said there was no security which is not to worry and then after a little bit the iPhone has tried to get to the internet on the via the Nomad which is not a wireless router with no broadband connection so it fails and that's why it comes up with no internet connection but don't don't worry about that it's not uh, to be expected with these type of data wireless data products we can click on the little eye icon I don't know if you saw me how I did that there so it's that little eye icon to the right just click on that and it then tells you information about the Nomad so it says no internet connection unsecured network that's because we haven't uh, password protected it and if you come down here uh, you can see that we've got an IP address uh, for our iPhone um, of uh, 192.168.1.11 and it's got that from from Nomad so that's good um, if it comes up with an IP address of 169.254.1. something then that means that you've got one of our um, older units and it's probably worth contacting us to get it updated um, but this unit's fine so that's the first step make sure you're wirelessly connected then press the home key uh, and we can go to our IAIS app. Um, so this is a free app that we uh, have for iPhones and iPads and uh, this is a, a great little app. It just shows you the AIS data on a sort of a screen and if you pay for the uh, Navionics uh, in-app purchase you can actually overlay the Navionics charts as well so there's no AIS data there now and normally we would go to instruments then we would click on the little cogwheel setting at the top right hand corner and then we would go to TCP IP to set up the data connection now if I uh, there's two types of data connection UDP or two TCP um, I'm going to do the UDP because that's the most common one so UDP is like a broadcast protocol and uh, multiple uh, iPhones and iPads can all receive the same data at the same time if they use UDP it's also much easier to set up because you just have to make sure that the port is port 2000 which is the default and then you should be able to click the link button and it tries to initiate a connection now I've intentionally set this up so it won't so that connection will fail today to show you through some of the, the typical reasons for that but um, so it's actually tried to connect and it's failed uh, the reason for that is that I've intentionally left some apps running in the background and this is the most common reason for the uh, data connection to fail so I'm going to have a look at what apps are running by double pressing the home key on the iPhone and what happens there is then the iPhone then displays all of the apps that are open as, as a series of windows that you can move left to right by just dragging them and you can see all of the and there's a, it always amazes me how many apps I've got open um, and the ones in particular are the marine ones that uh, that could potentially be taking uh, the network connection that I'm trying to connect to, the, the data connection. So I'm going to close the Navionics app and also our own Navlink app um, and in fact you, know, you can close as many apps by just and all, you, all I'm doing is just dragging them off the top of the screen um, like that. So I'm, and I'm even going to close the IAIS app so that it starts afresh so I now go back to the uh, home screen, run IAIS again, go to plotter, then go to instruments, cogwheel, TCP IP, and now when I set that link to on, you can see that suddenly all the data from our AIS has come streaming through and I'm getting GPS and AIS data there now. So that just shows you how important it is to make sure that any of the apps that are running in the background are closed just to make sure that the IAS app or whatever app that you want to run can actually access that network connection. So that's it and I can just click save to that 
save to the next screen and you can see some of the data coming through here uh, I'm getting 59, 60 uh, target count, that's the AIS target count, that's what TCT stands for and I can click the plotter screen and now I can see all of the AIS uh, targets here in orange are the little orange triangles, uh, the pink ones um, are the class uh, B, uh, orange class A Okay, so that's uh, typical um, of what uh, can stop the uh, network uh, data coming across, and hopefully you found that of interest. Thanks very much for listening.